We are ready for college football. Speaking of which, the Finley Oiler football team looking to bounce back from a disappointing 2014 season that ended with a 5-6 and six record. Head coach Rob Keyes has been hard at work during the summer trying to fill holes left by graduation and to instill the win the day mindset. Earlier this week, Austin Scott was in Finley previewing the 2015 season for the Black and Orange. After a 3-0 start to the 2014 season, the Finley Oilers lost six of their last eight games for a final mark of 5-6. Despite the disappointing finish to last year's campaign, head coach Rob Keyes and his players are all about looking ahead in 2015. I mean, with us, you know, our, our motto is win the day, and we move forward every single day and try to win that. And when you do that, the culmination and the accumulation ends up being winning games and winning championships and, and graduation and all that. You know, the thing about last year, it's, the good thing about it, it's last year. And, and our guys really aren't focused on what happened. They're trying to move forward in 2015. I've noticed a lot of guys have walked in this season. Um, we found out that you might have all the skill players, all the talent in the world, but it comes down to playing as a team. And the team aspect is all we need. And that's that's the biggest difference. That I think we really we really came together this year. And oh, it's been going good. Uh, we've been working hard. Good, really good team chemistry. We've been coming together. I see that. The coaches really got us pushing together. So we should be out. Really good the Oilers have big shoes to fill on both sides of the ball in 2015, including current NFL talent. It's tough when you, you, you lost two of really prolific offensive players. You know, you had Verlon Reed, most yards ever in Finley history as, as one player. Uh, Lloyd Henry, leading receiver and all, all time at Finley. And then Harold Jones Quate on the defense side of the ball, still playing for the Arizona Cardinals. So, you know, to replace those guys athletically is nearly impossible. Coach Keyes is always looking to change up the scenery for his players, and this coming Sunday, he'll do just that. We saw that Dean Smith used to take his basketball teams to practice in, in prisons throughout, throughout North Carolina. And, uh, you know, we kind of kicked the idea around, and, and this Sunday we're practicing at the Marion Correctional oh, Institution. Uh, it's going to be interesting because it's going to be a, a life learning experience for a lot of guys. After Sunday's practice, the Oilers will be less than two weeks away from the opening kickoff against Hillsdale. Um, all areas of improvement are always necessary. Uh, I mean, we got to come out and uh, improve on both sides of the ball. Uh, offense, you know, we got we to be able to score every single drive, defense stopping every single drive, and that's, that's the strategy we're looking for every single day we come out here and practice. First and foremost, as a team, go uh, just be Hillsdale. The first game, that's what we want to do. First, uh, first game on schedule, just be Hillsdale, and then after that, Take it day by day. In Finley with the Oilers, this is Austin Scott for the Sports Report.